good day to all the steam netizens uh, uh, i have been requested to speak about my experiences about best practices uh, as applied to steam in the pulp and paper industry so when one talks about best practices uh, it it does mean that these practices have already been adopted and used in some part of the industry maybe it's in india or maybe it's out of india so my sharing of these experiences what i have seen across uh, the machines that i have seen and across the mills that i have seen all over the world uh, and therefore i will try to you know uh, elucidate on these practices uh, in different uh, what you call areas of 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 the mill uh, so if you look at best practices you can first look at different areas uh, for example uh, it could be safety practice best practices in safety it could be best practices as concerning production it could be quality of paper and it could be the energy consumed in making paper so looking at these different i would say bubbles or you look at different segments uh, of or focus areas uh, safety is the top yeah i mean and we expect that you know uh, there are best practices that relate to safety as applied to steam systems uh, right from you know boiler houses to flash steam systems there are best practices as related to production uh, as to what maximizes the production rate and what will enable production rate to be maximized in terms of quality uh, how does steam systems affect quality and what are the best practices uh, when designing steam systems uh, to get good quality of paper and for energy that's a fairly easy one uh, when one says uh, how one, how does one consume uh, the minimum amount of energy to produce the maximum amount of paper so drying paper with the least energy uh, and what factors enable that to happen is also a best practice that we can uh, look at so coming to the first uh, segment which is how does one look at best practices for safety uh as applied to steam systems uh it starts right from the boiler house yeah so when one looks at the boiler house in a pulp and paper mill typically in pulp and paper mills boiler houses tend to be more biomass based or coal based plants yeah so basically uh, the best practices that one looks at uh as comp- as applied to safety is to ensure that there is no blowback uh that happens uh, inside Uh, these boilers because that's a very dangerous uh, phenomena that can injure operating personnel as they are operating around the boilers so what we normally find in some mills which are really progressive is that they control the furnace pressure uh, inside uh, the the furnace so that no blow back happens and if, and that's done by what is known as the furnace pressure control and that really ensures that we have proper uh, control of the furnace pressure and there is no blow out happening inside a furnace that's the first best practice as concerning safety uh, as applied to boilers in pulp and paper mills the second thing which we ha- have seen uh, across mills uh, which ensure that all surfaces around the boiler are insulated now this is a very mundane uh, you know what do you call a practice but it's a very important we see so many people getting burned by touching hot surfaces as they walk around the boiler and this i believe especially in a in a uh, solid fuel boiler when there are so many parts and exposed parts uh, insulating those parts and making sure that they do not come in contact with humans is i think a very important practice and which has been adopted by many mills like itc for example which do really provide uh, these very simple uh, but safe practices for operating people the third thing which we all know is the boiler pressure it has been a source of accidents in many cases and controlling the boiler pressure is one thing and making sure that it is controlled electronically but also there are mechanical devices which you all know of safety valves uh, these are all working and calibrated at a set pressure and they're regularly maintained so the maintenance and calibration of these safety valves uh, is an important element of boiler safety as applied to pulp and paper this is applied to almost any mill and any boiler but specifically in the pulp and paper mills this is important because uh, especially when machines t- uh, turn down and when paper breaks steam uh, shuts out and steam consumption reduces and boiler pressures tend to peak this can be a problem and therefore needs to be uh, looked at from the perspective of a sudden uh, peak or a transient in steam pressure which can cause a blow off safety valves can help release the pressure in the steam drums 
so that we, nobody uh, is in the danger of being uh, exposed to hot water or hot steam. The fourth element that I believe uh, is also related to safety is to ensure that all, all hot condensate lines uh, which, and, and flash steam lines which are going from uh, the process to the boiler house are again insulated. So that's the common point again that insulation of all lines coming into the boiler house and out of the boiler house are insulated. So safety uh, is in terms of the boiler house uh, is, is something that we uh, also uh, consider very important. The second point that we talked about of safety as applied to the paper machine. So when one looks at safety in the paper machine, uh, it's with relation to the steam and condensate system is the way you design the steam and condensate piping. The design of the piping has to be done in such a way that it does not come in the way of operating personnel. Now our engineering practices are such that steam lines should not come in the way of the pathways where, they, where people are going to operate the machines and they should definitely allow easy access to various valves. Uh, that's a very important element because uh, in a paper machine, especially in the basement, uh, there is a lot of movement happening under the, under the machine and one should be careful in, in routing the pipelines. So the safety practice that I have seen, the best practice that we have seen here, in fact it was a mill in Malaysia, uh, which was a very wonderful mill and in, in fact at first glance you thought it was a 5 star hotel. But this was a mill that was actually a paper mill and in the basement you could see that every pipe was out of human reach, it could not be uh, you know, touched by bare hands, everything was insulated, every flange was properly uh, fixed and there was no leakage. In fact, you could uh, not see a drop of condensate uh, on the floor of that machine and the floor was absolutely clean. Uh, so this really tells us that if one had to design a good engineering practice, uh, one should go and see this mill. Now I, I won't name this mill but it's in Malaysia, a similar mill is in Thailand uh, which really I would say are good examples of how good piping could be done uh, which can relate to safe operation and safe practice in the paper machine itself. And this is to do with steam engineering which one tends to look at with as plumbing. And this normally comes at the base of the machine which is the most neglected area. But mills uh, are paying a lot of attention to the housekeeping of these pipelines and, and, then, and that's an important element of safe practice uh, for steam and condensate systems as applied to paper machines. Of course, there are other important things in the paper machine which have to be taken care of. For example, uh, especially uh, vacuum breakers which are, which are very rarely used nowadays but they have been uh, there in many early dryers which have been of the old uh, vintage type. Uh, the vacuum breakers tend to play a very important role especially in dryers which are operated very low pressures or when the moisture comes onto the paper and it's dried very suddenly that's when vacuum can tend to form and it can become a, a safe practice. Uh, 